Hello, it's Kirk Ellis at uh, Birchwood, and we got another four place <clears throat> finally ready to go. Um, I've test run it once. Uh, I've got to take it back outside and run it again. But um, I just wanted to show everybody uh, the new finished airplane, and then I'll try to keep you up to date with it as we uh, roll along with it. But to kind of look at the special features of it, um, on the time, it's got uh, long wings on it and um, the Javeron wings are on it. And um, we do have uh, these really cool seats that are in it that are made by Skunk Works, Paul Gray out of Wasilla. And their slider seats are all handmade. They've got the little seats from storage compartments underneath each one. It makes it very nice, they slide up and down. It makes it really nice for getting in and out of the airplane. The dual stick control with uh, toe brakes. It's got a really simple panel in it right now and it's a takeout panel. The owner um, is still waiting on some parts and stuff. They're gonna put a glass panel in it eventually. I put the gas gauges um, inset on it to keep the tubes out of the sunlight. So maybe they wouldn't get yellow for a while. The trim is uh, an overhead trim <clears throat> because of the the seating arrangement in it. We've got plenty of baggage area. Come around to this side. It's got a a 200 horse engine in it, fuel injected with a Cato prop. Should jump pretty good. Titanium landing gear, aluminum lift struts. It's got a cargo door on the side. Another feature that's on this aircraft is the uh, the front brace. It's actually called, uh, well, it's not actually called that, it's what I call it, um, the slingshot. And um, it's a thing that goes in here that makes this tail really, really rigid. Um, it's actually built by Charlie Sinner, a crosswind stole. Can't see it very good, but it comes down here and that connects in the bottom down there. And um, it's just a really neat, uh, it's really saves your trim jack and braces up the tail. Got the overhead brace wire also that's on it. It's got enlarged uh, tail feathers. These are also made by Paul Gray of Skunk Works um, out in Wasilla. Uh, he built them and designed the tail for this plane. Excited about that, it should work really well. Got 24 gallon gas tanks in it. And uh, so anyway, we'll see how she does here maybe in the next week if uh, we can get some, some weather and warms up a bit.